Hey everyone, it's Megan with Alder and Nance, and I am so excited to bring you the first look at the Simplicity Spring 2022 pattern release that recently just came out, and I wanted to share my thoughts with you on the patterns that are in the new collection. And the first one we're going to look at is S9469 pullover tops in tunic or hip lengths featuring a v-shape and cut out necklines with self ties three quarters and elbow length sleeves gather to elastic ub has a waistline elastic creating a peplum look and last year about six months ago i released a first look at some patterns for another company and it is the second most viewed video on my channel so if you like these videos go ahead and let me know down in the comments below and i'll continue putting these videos out every time that i see one of the pattern companies has released some new patterns and i love this fabric it is really cute let's go look at this one and here it is untuck it is not one with the elastic waist so let's see here is one with the ties in the front that is the v-neck and this is it tied with the peplum with the elasticated waist and the keyhole and it looks like it comes with both the elbow length with both the elastic in the elbow area and also here this one gives you some gathering where this one does not give you the gathering below and you do have the peplum look you have the tunic and a regular top length so this one is really cute and it comes in sizes 6 through 24. Here we have S9470. Peplum top have options for side drape pleats or inverted pleats. Sleeves are in three lengths with invisible back zipper closure. So here we have with the peplum, with the side gathers, and we have the inverted pleats here. This is a cute little top, and of course my computer is not wanting to cooperate with me. And here it shows with the invisible zipper in the back. So this would be a fabrics to use, Chalice Charmose Crepe de Chine, Double Georgette, Silky Types Matte Jersey Knits. Oh, it you can use, okay. And it also comes in size 6 through 22. Here is a blouse for S9467. Button front blouse and two links have options for full sleeves and extended cuffs, shirt sleeves, or sleeveless. All have front and back yokes with and without ruffles. So this is the one that has the ruffling right above the bust area. So I don't know how well this will actually look. I don't like the ruffles right above the bust, but the gathering underneath the bust from the yoke is really cute. I do like that. And I like the fact that you have the Mandarin collar and also a regular collar for this one. So yes, you have the Mandarin collar and also the regular collar. And this one comes in sizes 6 through 22. Then we have S9468. Relaxed unlined jacket in two lengths has drop shoulders, patch pockets, sleeve band, back slit. Choose from shawl collar options or collars, collarless view. You've got the little cardigan style, and then you have the shawl collar. And it's cute. I like the little pockets on it. I like how they use this fabric as an option for it also. And this one is going to come in a size 6 through a 24. 
Then we have a couple of Mimi G patterns, which is a mini dress with front and back yokes, has body darts, wide front placket, pocket details, belt and top stitch bands on the sleeve and skirt hem. UA has the same features with above the knee skirt and a back slit. Designed by Mimi G, follow her video tutorials. So I'm gonna guess Mimi has already put out a tutorial for making this dress and I know it didn't say but it's got this cute little flounce here at the bottom and I'm gonna guess that is view B for that one. So it does have some really cute design details where it has stitching on several layers right here. It is really cute. It's right above the knee look. I love Mimi G's patterns and she is a beautiful one. And Mimi G's patterns are from a six to a 24. And I don't know if I already said it, that is S9463. And then Mimi also put out S9480, which is a step in jumpsuit. It has a halter surplus neckline, bodice yoke with gathers, and set in waistband with elastic and drawstring details. Option of ankle and mid calf links. So let's take a look at these. Like I said, I really love Mimi G's patterns and make sure you go follow her. And this is one of the easy to sew patterns. So it does have the gathered here for the yoke for the halter neck. So I don't know if that's what they were talking about. I don't know all of the language that's used for sewing and patterns yet. I am still learning. And then we have S9474, V-neck or jeweled neckline dress has flared skirt, optional three-quarter length sleeves, and self-belt. Backs have invisible zipper and back waist darts. Princess seam jacket has shaped hemlines and is fully lined. So it is a cute plus size pattern. So it does have the little jacket and three different views for the dress. So you have your sleeveless v-neck, three-quarter length sleeves with the v-neck, and then you also have the sleeveless with the boat neck. So you have A, B, and C, and then you also have the pattern for the belt with this one. And then you also have the little jacket that goes on top, which is really cute. And then it's the same pattern for S9473 for sizes 6 through 24. And that last one was from sizes 18W to 32W. So they've separated out these two patterns for straight sizing and plus sizing. And then we have S9475, deep sweetheart neckline dress, have bust cups adjustments in two lengths with options for contrast overlay. This pattern features gathered waistband and a gathered skirt, back variations for a deep V opening and back or closed back with waist darts. And I'll talk a little bit more about this pattern here in a little bit when I get to the plus size version because they are offering a plus size. But I wanted to go ahead and show you the straight size version of this pattern. So they also offer it in the plus sizing from an 18W to a 32W. And the other day, Skylar was showing me something in her Spanish journal and I had noticed a dress that she had drew out in her journal and when I saw this pattern I knew I'm going to have to pick up this pattern because Skylar pretty much drew this dress before it even existed. So I'm gonna have to make this. This will probably be her winter formal dress for next year. We'll see. I don't know for sure if that's gonna be it 
because normally she prefers a longer length dress and I know this one comes in a longer length but I really love that it has the lace overlay details already patterned in for you and shows you how to do that. It's got that really cute waistline but I was really surprised to see that Skylar actually drew this out in one of her journals that she's using for school. And then we are going down to some sportswear jacket with hidden button placket, front and back waist darts, and attached sleeves. Sleeveless knit pull-on with bias tape finish, crop pants, and midi skirt with front, ah, side front pockets and invisible side seam zipper. And this is S9479, and it's from a size 6 to a size 24. So this one comes with the knit top, pair of pants, a button up top, and also the skirt. So you're getting this full outfit plus a couple more little pieces. So this pattern would be really good for a capsule wardrobe for you to have a couple of basic pieces for, for your capsule wardrobe. And then, I don't remember this dress. Okay, S9477 is an easy pullover top and dress. I have outside applied front and back yokes, short sleeve and a comfy A-line shape. Hip length has a flared sleeve and lace trim. Knee length dress has flared sleeves, contrast yokes, and hem bands. Mid, -cap, mid calf length dress has pulled back, has puff sleeve gathers to bands, contrast yoke, and hem bands. Play with the fabrics for a quirky look that's all your own. And I'm not real sure what they were thinking with this. I mean, it's cute, but I'm not real sure about this pattern. I mean, I like little sweetheart looking neckline right here for the yoke, but I'm not real sure about this one. And it comes from a extra, extra small to an 2XL. I don't remember looking at that one the other day. So now we are on to S9472, which is a pleated or gathered skirts, have waistband, side seam pockets, and side zipper, length variations, and optional side seam slit. So we have this one with the pleats for both of the different lengths and then this one has a yoke with gathers and both of these are really cute and this one comes from a size 6 to a 24 also then we move on to s9472 that comes in size 6 through a 24 crop pants with a front zipper and elasticated back waistband, belt carriers and yokes, and three pocket variation. so, variations. Pant hems are wide and pegged and the back hem darts. With back hem darts. So we've got this one that I'm going to guess has side seam pockets. This one has a set of pockets here and also a little cargo pocket. And then we also have a patch style pocket on this pair. So we've got a little patch pocket style here and then the cargo pocket and comes in several different lengths, looks like, or maybe not. Nope, they're all cropped. And then we have the Madeline, Madeline.com patterns for a bralette and panties and bralette with adjustable shoulder straps underwires back bra hook closures and stretch lace details fits cup size a through h thong or full coverage panties with elastic edging and cotton crotch lining comes in size extra small through 4xl 
pretty and comfortable and ready to be custom made to fit you. And the envelope has a lot more. I'm not going to go through all of these photos, but I will go ahead and go down to here. So you see we've got the thong, we also have the bralette, and we also have the regular brief panty. Let's see if they can show me just a little bit more. There we go. So we've got the different views and everything. It's a really cute little pattern. And I already read out all of the sizes and the pattern comes with all sizes. And then let's go down to the family pattern and it comes from extra small through large and then an extra small through extra large for the two different sizing in one. It is a hooded pullover top that has a relaxed fit, half zipper neckline, angled front seams, back yoke with loop encased and large utility pockets. Second view has options for the contrasting fabrics. Okay. So it's the same pattern, just showing you how to do it with the contrasting fabrics. And then you have the adult sizes and then you have the kid sizes. And then we have a boys and men's tracksuit. And that is a short sleeve zip front hoodie, has tucking details and kangaroo pocket. Pull on pants and shorts have elastic waistband and side seam pockets. And this one comes in sizes small through large and then again in adult sizing small through extra large. And then we have the toddler's jumpsuit in which comes in sizes half through four. And this is just really adorable. And I love the pictures that they are using for this. This little boy is too cute. And then let's go down to our 1940s pattern, which is S9464. And this is a vintage 1940s dress, has collarless neckline that can be made sweetheart or square shaped. View A has a gathered skirt finish with ruffle and self tie belt. View B features applied trim. Both views feature a short sleeve pleated at the bottom. So it starts out with a wider and then it pleats down into it. So you have that one and you also have this one that has the trim applied onto the square neckline. And we have a 1950s pattern for the S9465. Vintage 1950s dress has buttons that trim the regular, ah, that trim the triangular neckline and skirt with pleats on either side. View A has a three quarter sleeve detachable collar and cuff. View B has a short sleeve and pointed cuff. So this one, actually I'm making a pattern very similar to this sleeve option right here. So this one has the three quarter sleeves with the cuffs and then this one has short sleeves with the pointed cuff. Really cute. I'd like to see if I could find the original pattern for this one. And then we have the 1960s pattern for S9466, which is the vintage 1960s step-in dress with collar, bodice, and bias midriff it has skirt with pleats stitched below the waist. This pattern features double-breasted front button closing and options for a short sleeve or sleeveless. So we have this little A-line style dress and it looks like this one also has the bias. So I'm not real sure. I guess you can use two different fabrics right here. It's really cute. And then let's go down to the apron set that they are selling with this one. And it is S946, sorry, S9496. Direct from the Simplicity Archive circa 1948, aprons have full gathered skirt, waistband with ties, ends, and oversized round pockets with bias finish, finishing the edges. Full apron has angular shoulder straps and baby rickrack trim. Play with stripes or contrast fabric pockets 
and insert band for a unique half apron. Quilted Eva mitts are included, so you do also get the little Eva mitt pattern. So it's got three different patterns, maybe? Hold on. Yes, you've got B and C, or B and C, and then you also have the A with the bib and the really cute bow in the back on all of these. And then we have Bridgerton costumes. Costume gown have lined bodices, empire waist, floor length skirt with the back gathers and back zipper closures. Choose long or slim. Ah, choose long and slim or short puff sleeves with ribbon ruffles and rosettes. Open front collar and lace fabric has short piece ah, puffed sleeves and detachable collar with boning and lace trim. Crop jacket has sheer puff sleeves, notch collar, and button front. Sheer dicky has lace ruffles and drawstring ribbon closures. So you have a couple of different little options with this pattern. So view A very much reminds me of a dress that Penelope would have worn and then view B for Daphne. And then with this little rough collar thing here, kind of reminds me of the queen, I guess, or maybe Daphne's mother. And then the youngest Bridgerton, I forgot her name, would have worn this right here. And I forgot what that is actually called, a spinster jacket? I'm not real sure. It's something like a spinster jacket. And then we have little girls dresses and I'm not going to really go over all of these. I'm just going to go ahead and pull up if I can get it to go over to it. You have four different options for little girls dresses on this pattern for S9503 and then we have this little outfit for little girls and then we have another knit top some onesie style rompers baby bath set now i do want to talk about simplicity having the adaptive line when i saw this yesterday i wanted to cry so bad i wish i had started my sewing journey a couple of years ago and while my mom was still with us because making these patterns for my mom would have helped so much and for those of you out there that are taking care of your parents being able to help them into their clothing is sometimes very difficult especially when their muscles are starting to make it where they can't move around as easy so being able to have like on this gentleman here if you've noticed it has this line right through here that is because they have velcro down the backs of them i'll go ahead and read for s9488 cardigan has traditional v-neck front buttons for appearance only so the buttons on the front don't actually work you are doing the closing down the back of these so being able to help them in to these garments by easing them around their front instead of trying to make them force their arms back in order to get into the shirts. I could just see how this would have helped my mom so much. So simplicity, thank you for putting these patterns out there and maybe some of the big box stores will start seeing that we need this to help our elderly a little bit more and we'll make clothing like this more accessible for those of you that do not sew but these adaptive clothing lines that you have now I really wish I had started sewing and these lines were out whenever my mom was still alive she passed away in 2019 and it was always a struggle to get her dress so seeing this pattern along with S9487 for this button up 
Shirt has a traditional looking brand. All buttons are for parents only. Closures are Velcro. Closures are hook and loop fasteners tape for easy on and off dressing. The top two front buttons can open for a more casual look. So these two buttons here can be opened. But again, it has the easy on and off with the Velcro down the back. And even now seeing these, I still actually have tears in my eyes. And then we also have their recovery gown and bed robes along with a bib. And I'll just go ahead and show you a couple of the photos of the gowns and bed robes. These look so much more comfortable than what you would get in the hospital. So it's got the Velcro all the way through here. So I could see if a woman is going into the hospital to have a baby for one of these robes to be used. So if you have a friend that's about to have a baby or if you have anyone that's going in for surgery and you don't want your butt hanging out with the hospital gowns, this right here looks wonderful. And then we have the adult bibs. Which some of these actually have some really cute options. Oh, that fabric is too cute. I love that fabric. So you have several different options for different styles. And then we have the chemo head coverings, which come with patterns for making the hats, the several different hats. And then we also have the scarf. And then we have the hot and cold comfort packs. Which you have several options for that. You have the pillows, you have the back warmer, ankle warmers, knee warmers, feet warmers. This is probably something that I'd make for myself now even. And then we have the wheelchair accessories, which comes with several different accessories. And I wouldn't have mind making a couple of these for my mom also. Useful wheelchair items include seat pad, organizer bag, armrest organizer, footrest and calf stop, and the armrest. So you have several different little organizers and pads for you. And then we also have the walker bags. So you've got what looks to be about four different walker bags. Slip covers, car accessories, easy plush animals, some baby doll clothing, and the pet accessories. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one real quick. My dog would hate me if I tried to put him in any of these. I have a 14 year old Chow Chow and he does not wear clothing, hats, or anything. Not even the bandana right here. He would not wear that. But you've got several cute little options for Halloween costumes. Oh, that is too cute. So you have a Valentine Day bug. You have a French. You have pumpkin. You have St. Patty's Day, 4th of July. So you've got several options, including a Santa reindeer. Not Santa reindeer, but a Christmas one. So that is it for all of the patterns that were released from Simplicity for the Spring 2022 pattern release. All right, guys, again, like I said, if you like this video of me kind of going through some of the patterns, go ahead and let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys here later this week.